Today is Friday and Lucas is a little bit tired, so I'm only recording the I read your comments uh, video today. And we're gonna read the comments uh, of the game Bloodfish Supply first, and then we're gonna jump. Uh, and then we'll jump. I say gonna so often, so I wanna say oh, we, we will or we. Yeah, anyway, we'll read the comments uh, um, of uh, XCOM Euro for defense after that. And we start with somebody, someone new. He is, I believe, from, from China, uh, or at least I think that's Chinese. I'm not sure about that. And I practice with Google a little bit the pronunciation. So let's see if I'm doing a good job. And uh, Gente Wunifan uh, Bei. Uh, is maybe the correct pronunciation, maybe not. I don't know what I actually said right now. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, and also the, the video, like usually will be, like usually, like two parts, will be, um, will be chapterized. Uh, if this is a word, I'm not sure. Um, you can see when I read the comments of the game Blood and when it start, when I start to read the comments of the XCOM Euro for defense, uh, when you, you know. Uh, I hope you know what, what, you, what I mean. I hope I know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, okay, we start with some uh, something very very interesting, and I, I'm happy that you uh, you mentioned this. Denchte, um, uh, uh, um, you say or you said actually uh, you always pronounce lever as lever. Uh, lever is an organ in human body, you know. A lever. And level, uh, the E is the same pronunciation. And I think this is a very cool co comment because the word lever uh, or lever is make, confusing me all the time. And I also, I researched it already and I think I do remember some, um, we may have spoken already about this, I'm not sure. But I thought it's a good opportunity to just ask uh, you guys because you are native speakers and as far as I know or as far as I can trust my research on this word, I think you can use both because when I go on the website um, uh, dict.cc, uh, which is a, a German uh, uh, English dictionary uh, with native speaker, you can just let them, you know, uh, sp uh, say the word. They say actually, uh, or you know, just listen to that. Lever or lever. So they actually suggest to me that I could use both um, um, pronunciations. I think it's maybe a region thing, uh, but it's not the first time that I that the people uh, tell me that it's a uh, lever, not lever. So um, for that reason, I, I may be gonna use from now on lever uh, because it seemed to be more popular for for some reason. It's not a big thing or something. It's just very interesting, and I thought, why not asking you guys? You you uh, you you may know it better if you are a native speaker. Um, so so very uh, happy about it. So thanks uh, thanks for that. And then uh, this I already answered. Lucas, where you are from? And he was laughing here. That's good. <laughs> If the ghost keeps laughing, it's it's about the one uh, of those videos. Uh, it's a, what am I talking? So he's enjoying the video, so I'm happy about that. Then, yeah, uh, so thanks for that. Then Aracopra said um, in the last part of Blood Fresh Supply, which is part 29, is this big enough to record here? Um, episode 2, the mine level here is one of my least liked levels in the game i admit it has fun elements but uh, parts of it like the area with the chains where you used the jumping boots just never seem to work right or communicate properly to the player what's supposed to happen and yeah i agree 100 that's very good uh, summarized other cobra i i think that's that you 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 nailed it i think um you know, I think I like the level because it's new uh, to me, uh, to my eyes. It's still interesting because I just like the game. It's it's a really fun game to, to play uh, and to shoot and, and, and to investigate uh, the levels and stuff. Uh, but yeah, this level was um, not really well communicated. Um, I, I, I could solve it. 
Uh, but I it felt like I I, I, I stumbled across uh, a glitch or something. It didn't felt okay. It, it didn't felt. Hold on. Uh, I feel it didn't feel okay. Yeah, that didn't think again. Um, so that was well. Um, yeah, I can I can see why it's not uh, your favorite uh, level. Um, I mean, it's still a good game. That that's clear to us all. But um, I, I can see why you why you say that. Um, Okay, I think we are done. That's all about the blood for supply and the, the new comment. I hope I didn't overlook someone. No? Okay, then we're gonna jump into a uh, small cut and then we're gonna jump into uh, XCOM UFO. So, uh, XCOM UFO defense comments of the uh, part 28. Uh, we're gonna start with Logan Shu and I have pen and paper ready. So I'm ready to, to write down some notes uh, for recording next week the video. I just wanna say that. Um, probably on, on Tuesday because on Monday I wanna record Blood for Supply. I'm not going, going to do this today. I need a lot of energy um, so that I can shoot those Maranaks. <laughs> and anyways, so probably next week, uh, Tuesday. Um, yeah, we start with Logan Shu and Logan Shu said, uh, which is the first comment, uh, said, haha, you have an exciting neighborhood with lots of dock and construction noises. Funny to see your annoy annoyance. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's not over yet. It's still going uh, uh, work. Uh, I mean, they're still working. Um, I think they they uh, reconstructing the the bathroom above me, uh, the apartment of, above me. So yeah, there is yeah yeah. But it's not that bad. It's a regular thing actually. It's not really something what what is, is like a huge thing. It's just they're gonna be done soon hopefully <laughs> and also i have to say um I'm, I'm happy where i live right now it's a really nice apartment um, um not big but for me it's 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 beautiful and i have a good neighbor so the communication is perfect it's not you know too much not too less it's exactly the right uh, amount so i'm very happy i have to say that you know you also have to see the good things in life so, anyways, um, but if of course, if you want to record a video, then it's not, you know, then you're gonna, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. So, the plasma rifle UFOpedia entry is probably under alien research or alien artifacts area. Um, yeah, I think I read something, like I said, only a glimpse. Um, I'm gonna write this down. L Alien research. Um, this is point one. This is what I got to do. Um, alien tech has high wrestle value. What does that mean? What is a wrestle? Oh boy, <laughs> it's resell. <laughs> alien tech has a high resell value. A value. So selling uh, those plasma pistols slash clips gained you a, a lot of income. UFO power sources and navigations are used for construction, uh, constructing your advanced craft when your research get, gets to the point. You uh, UFO power source and navigations. Yeah, I think, yeah, I re remember something like that you guys told me. I'm not sure. But okay, thanks. And you don't have uh, to cancel research to do another one. You can reduce the scientists on the current project even down to zero and put them on another project. Each additional scientist uh, added to the to a project has diminishing returns, so it isn't. A bad idea to sometimes split up research. Um, I have to check this word. Okay, diminishing returns, sinkende renditen. Um, okay, now I get what you mean. Uh, where am I? So I could basically I could um, um, just split. Well, I, I was thinking about that. I I, I thought um, there was one part where I wanted to read. I don't didn't. I don't know what it was anymore. What it what it is. Not what it was. Uh, there was one part where I wanted to research something very quickly. So I put everybody into that because I thought the more the better. But um, 
maybe not so um but it's good to know that i can when i change my uh, priority uh, that I don't have to cancel it actually that's very I mean that makes sense that's a waste like canceling a project it's like we're gonna pause the project by um, uh, going down to zero okay so I hope I understood this correctly so correct uh, mind probes are used to determine the stats and rank of aliens on the battlefield requires line of sight i saw that the alien you captured was a sectoid soldier a, sec a soldier is the lowest alien rank so uh, other than ad advancing uh, advancing the story and learning about his bio biology you won't get much more intelligent from him i see um, let me just the, the mind probe the mind probes are used to determine the stats and rank of an of aliens on the battlefield require line the mind probes I thought mind probes is something I have to research ah this is probably something to, I have to research right let's just let, write, write this down point two mind probes let's just check this later in the game uh, mind probes so um, yeah, and about okay about this this the soldier that we, we captured. Yeah, I mean, um, unfortunately, it's, um, I remember you guys told me there is a there are, you know uh, aliens have different ranks, and the soldier unfortunately is the lowest uh, uh, rank. Um, but I think it's still cool to 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 um, to research him to get the story a little bit, uh, um, yeah, to accelerate the story or to get a little bit of story um yeah okay then high explosive uh, thanks for that then high explosive uh, high explosives are not ammunition they are like large grenades i don't think you can throw them as uh as far as the normal alien grenades but they are powerful and very useful to demolish <laughs> i think i do know this word i'm not sure zerstören okay demolish demolish it reminds me on demons um, because of i do not know because i mean it starts like anyway sorry i digress uh, demolish your enemies especially together no especially tougher ones like cyber discs uh, the high explosive ammunition is different and is shown as a separate sub item h c h e armor h c h e armor etc and the heavy cannon and auto cannon let me just uh, take a second Ah, yeah, okay. I, I, I was thinking about this. Uh, it was okay, but now I get it. I mean, HC uh, then stands for high uh, cannon, high explosive armor, and HC is um, auto cannon, high explosive armor. This is very interesting. I should write this down. I'm gonna forget this for sure, but it's very uh, useful to know. Okay, dokie. I wrote it down because it's very, I mean, you know, it's very useful, but uh, it's it's very likely that I forget about that. Um, then the next thing is uh, in the soldier inventory men inventory menu, if you wanted to use the high explosive ammunition for the heavy cannon, you have to click the unload weapon button in the upper right side of the screen. This up unloads the clip from the weapon so that you can load in a different in a different clip also very useful i'm gonna write this down as well so i wrote down unload weapon button right side i hope this will help me this is point four in the next uh, part so then we're gonna go uh, deeper deeper into the system you can definitely mix uh, up your soldier inventories for example some uh where's my mouse for example uh some like to have a grain a green grenade grenader what does that mean what does that mean grenadier grenadier what is it grenadier uh -huh. what does it mean a soldier armed with grenades or ahra <laughs> Yeah, of course, it's not a gremlin, Lucas. 
Okay, sorry guys. Um, you can definitely mix up your soldier inventories. For example, some like to have a grenadier um, where they only have a pistol and the rest is high explosives and grenades. As you mentioned, you could also have a mul mulls to hold extra rockets and equipment. I'm okay with being the explosives guy. I'm okay with being the explosives guy. Uh, you know, I love to blow up, to blow stuff up. I love to blow stuff up. You usually want a person with lots of strength to throw things because the stronger you are, the fur further you can throw that is you know this is a sentence for me <laughs> this is like a wise sentence the stronger you are the, the further you can throw uh, uh, through things so what does that mean ah maltier i see mules oh, yeah that's the best one of the best creatures on earth you know they carry your luggage and then they they, they look so interested <laughs> and they talk so funny yeah, good, good mullies. Let's check the pronunciation. Again. Mules. Mules. Okay. Well. Anyways, uh, thanks for that, Logan. Thanks for that. And um, yeah, I look. I know you. You love uh, to blow stuff up. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Hot likes. Um, I would not hold on the read more button. I would not have used the phrase diminishing returns. Each scientist adds exactly one scientist. Oh, hold on. Each scientist adds exactly one scientist day to the research project at midnight. Okay, guys, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I have a little bit, I struggle a little bit with the sentence. I'm not quite understand. Each scientist adds exactly one scientist day to the research project at midnight. The last one as well as the first one. But I'm gonna proceed further because, you know, sometimes you don't understand and then it becomes more clear by reading. So, um, it's not your fault, I should like, it's just sometimes I, uh, uh, I need a little bit uh, more time. You are thinking about the wasted scientist days you get by keeping too many scientists on a project on the uh, very day it is compl uh, completed. Uh, there is no way to tell in-game how many scientists days are left before a project completes. So you cannot tell if you are wasting scientists days or not. Give me an... Uh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna proceed further. I just I think I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Let's just read a little bit more. If a project needs 30 more to finish and you reduce from 50 to 15 scientists it will go from finishing this midnight to next midnight increase time by one day you will decrease wasted days from 20 50 to see. I, okay i'm not getting it right now guys I'm, I'm i'm probably right now a little bit too dumb to understand that uh so i have to read this again uh, I'm, I'm still continuing. If a project needs 30 more to finish and you need from 50 to 20 scientists, it will go from finishing this midnight to next midnight, increasing time by one day. You will decrease wasted scientists days from 20, 50, I have right now everything is blurry to be honest <laughs> I'm not kidding I'm I have no idea what what I mean I have an idea it's about you guys talking about um, how much time I wasted when I change scientists but maybe this is a replay I mean you okay okay let's just continue um, if a project needs 30 more to finish and you reduce from 50 to 25 scientists, it will go from finishing this midnight to next midnight. Increase time by one day. You will neither increase or decrease wasted scientist days. They go from 20, 
50 30 20 to 20 okay i'm 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 out i'm not <laughs> Bear with me, please. I'm, I'm a little bit tired. So I'm, I'm reading it and I'm gonna read this again uh, over the weekend, uh, but I'm not sure if I, I quite understand. I'm not sure if it's meant to, 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 for me to understand, so that's... Um, uh, yeah. But you, you don't know that it is 30 scientist days left. What if it was 40 left? 50 to, 50 to 15 scientists adds 2 days. 52, 15, so I don't know what you, okay. Uh, ah, hold on. Uh, this means when I, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just uh, shooting out uh, into the blue. Uh, I don't know, uh, give it a try. Uh, f let's say we have 50 scientists uh, and we're gonna decrease them to 15 scientists. This would add two days, wasted days from 10 to five this would add two days wasted from 10 to f i have no idea uh 50 to 20 scientists adds one day wasted days from 10 to zero mm -hmm. 50 to 25 scientists adds one day wasted days stays 10 Okay, I, I, I'm seriously have to read this again, but not today. <laughs> there is no guarantee that you save scientists' days. It is a risk. Why risk delaying a tech if you don't even know if you gain anything from it? Uh, for role-playing purposes, I often uh, do tech multiple multiple projects at once, but if i were playing for maximum efficiency i would either sit down with a sp spreadsheet oh i know this thing i've learned this recently i've watched something and this word appeared i think uh, i'm not sure i thought okay i'm not sure anyway um good um i thought on this word um rechenschieber what? Rechenschieber. Uh, on this one, uh, but it's something different. Okay, okay, side rule, I see. Anyway, um, okay, for role playing purposes, I often do take multiple projects at once. But if I were playing for maximum efficiency, I would either sit down with a spreadsheet to calculate as accurately as possible the number of days required for the project or just keep all scientists on one project until it is done the former ta the, fo the former takes too much time to make the game fun to play and the late letter later is wasting this late no this is late. what is that yeah, it's English, I know. Latter. The latter, ah, interesting. And the latter is wasting scientists' days, but does get you the does get you the tech as soon as possible. I see. Okay, this basically means um um it's not really important to me to understand right now at least right <laughs> yeah i guess uh, i guess you guys are communicating to each other i see oh boy i hope so <laughs> well i'm gonna the thing is i'm, I'm gonna i think I, I can understand it but maybe not today maybe not today so and logan responds to that and he says short likes wow you've done your research so to speak i just looked at the efficiency graph on the u on the online ufopedia website and called it a day <laughs> and logan respond uh, and the short likes response to that logan shu ah yes the ufopedia uh, website ufopedia website is really useful maximum efficiency is of course to keep one scientist one scientist on each project Ah, this is okay. Uh, guaranteed to not waste any scientist days, and you will find out exactly how many each pro 
project requires how many each project requires but how many months do oh, hold on. but how many months do you really want to wait before reaching the um, better stop here lucas may read it yes i do i'm not i understand <laughs> but i i do i read it and i don't want to give too much of a spoiler better to waste a few days yeah i'm gonna go with this sentence better waste a few days um yeah i'm gonna be honest guys i mean you know that i struggle right now but what what when i say um as a rule just say is this a good idea just uh, when i try to not get overwhelmed with those stuff what do you guys say 30 scientists for one project is this just as a regular thing uh is this a good amount um yeah okay sorry that i don't understand right now but i have to read it again if you want if you say hey that's not so difficult just read it again um then i'm gonna going to do this uh and yeah okay good next thing is uh gabriel this game is is this the right hold on just 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 yeah this is the last thing right yes okay good um Gabriel, where are you here? Uh, this game is definitely the type of game where your time will just disappear before you know it. But this was a good episode. You got things done and it's nice to have some low-key relaxing time back at the base before everyone starts dying. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, I, I didn't feel like I did I, I did a lot to be honest. Um, um, I mean, as long as you guys appreciating it, I'm I'm super happy. Then it doesn't bother me at all. It's just sometimes I feel like, oh, is this something I do? Or is it, I mean, you know, if you appreciate that, then I'm completely fine with that, and that's good to know. Um, and it's also true. You know, now it's a little bit easy, and then or relaxing, and then you have those horrible, uh, not just discs, but also aliens and stuff uh, to do anyway so shot like said uh, as well ufopedia plasma rifle is in the p in the pedia pedia uh, what does pedia mean actually i have no idea i mean i have an idea what it means but do i know for sure what it means no i can't even copy anymore i lost the ability to copy things to copy things and now i'm getting completely pedia means pedia ah what the heck whatever so I was just curious guys um you just need to go to the correct category now what what would you uh, now <laughs> what would be the logical name for a category to put reports from researching uh those alien artifacts you pick up during a mission i know i know what alien research because i wrote it down point one <laughs> yeah i mean Sure, we, we gotta we gotta check this in the next part. That's for sure. Um, research tip: You can prioritize your projects if you click the new project button and select to start research. The project will be moved to the list of current uh, research. You don't have to assign any scientists to the project. Hold on, let me just give uh, one second. Ah, okay, we have to check this. So that, that means I can start multiple research, uh, research and, and can switch to whatever, whatever I just uh, want to prioritize, right? If I understood this correctly, I hope so. That's interesting too. I'm should, I should write this, write this down. This is point 0.5 then. Um, I'm gonna name this um, prioritize, prioritize uh, projects, project that's good um this means oh sorry i haven't seen this this means you can have your priority projects ready on the current research screen once the game tells you about a new research project being available you can choose to prioritize it by start research or leave it in the new research project list let me just read this again 
Okay, I think I got it. Uh, good to do this if you tend to forget what you wanted to research after the current project is finished. Yeah, that's really good because, yeah, that, that's uh, one of the best reasons because you simply forget what you wanted. And so if you have a, a list, you know, you're going to just uh, work on the list. Uh, plasma rifles. Uh, usually uh, you don't need extra armor. I would recommend one extra clip for terror missions and large ufos it depends on what role the soldier has of course if you plan on using him as an assault uh, yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of auto shots you may need extra ammo clip otherwise probably not let me just again Okay, got it. So sometimes, you know, I'm gonna pause often recording because it's very useful, the uh, pausing thing, and it's uh, helping me to understand sometimes. So it makes sense, yeah. Okay, if I got it. Uh, useful, usefulness of laser weapons. Laser rifles, uh, pistols, and heavy laser does not require armor clips. Uh, they have particular, uh, particularly, par uh, particular, particularly, Partially. Ah, anyway, let's okay. Let's check that word. Sorry, guys. I... Practically. Practically, they have practically unlimited ammo. Uh, even after plasma weapons become your main arsenal, it is good to keep a few lasers around. Weak rockies uh, uh, can use. A laser rifle and still carry a grenade or two it can take down a regular house wall or fence ah uh, no need to waste the grenade uh, to make a simple hole in the wall yeah, this is something I, um, point six is, uh, laser rifles, uh, because that makes sense. I, I, I wanted to exchange everything, laser rifles, but they are, the laser rifles are still valuable for, uh, exactly this purpose that they don't really need, um, uh, ammunition and, um, ergo, Ergo. Uh, you can use this in German as well. Um, uh, for that reason, you, well, they are lighter. Let's okay. Good guys. Besides, wink, wink, hint, hint. There is n no, no. There is one enemy in particular that takes more damage from laser and L E S S damage. What that is, I don't know. Uh, from plasma. Ah, I see. You will hopefully not see that enemy for a long time and when you meet it you will want a soldier with a heavy laser in fact it will be the only time in the game where it would uh, be a benefit using a heavy laser against all other enemies i will recommend not using heavy laser of course against all other enemies i will recommend not using laser a heavy laser of course meeting this enemy will be a shock. I'm not giving anything more away, just wanted to get your imagination running. And uh, I'm thinking squad wipe terror, terror territory here. No, you did a good job. This um, scares basically just my ass off. <laughs> and I don't know what it is just there. There will come a big, huge alien. And uh, the only thing I can do is having hopefully a laser gun yeah <laughs> we'll see um one hour and four minutes and 28 seconds i said something check value of sale before you i uh, i see uh, logan uh, said this check value of sale before click sale sell uh slash sec button it is good it is a good feeling isn't it yeah absolutely true now you know why going on mission is the best way to earn good money if your squad is strong enough to win the missions uh that is yeah um that's true um i'm gonna do that because simply that's absolutely true it's a good feeling to to sell stuff in games it's always, it's always a, a very nice feeling it's a very rewarding feeling and it's better if you know you know how much it, it is um early early game 
early game yeah early game and you are still in the early game it is important to be prepared to manufacture stuff for sale uh, especially if you have a month with few missions and it looks like you are going towards a negative bank balance after playing maintenance and at the beginning of next month after the monthly report you already uh, know where to find all the all of these numbers um so what you're basically saying uh, is that you, you basically say especially if you uh, uh prepare to manufacture stuff okay we have to manufacture stuff is uh, 0 0.7 later later uh, once you've gotten into mind game you will not have to worry about money most likely we'll see in other words know approximately how much money you lose at the end of the month keep that amount in the bank plus a few hundred thousands extra yeah i mean you know this is a, this is always a good idea even in real life <laughs> so absolutely i think yeah um yeah I'm, I'm i'm curious you know i think that the game can be very rewarding in terms of if you understand the economic key economical aspect of the game um then you it's probably not that hard to do the right thing um and it's a lot of fun i guess if you if you get uh, over the the, the 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 obstacles of of understanding what you're clicking at so that's um yeah interesting okay guys um it was a loud week um so uh, unfortunately there is no further part this uh this uh, I'm, I'm i'm done right uh this week i'm just anyway just tired so i i have to 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 rest a little bit not in a in a bad way again it's okay and next week uh also i'm doing blender you know i'm so so i'm not i i'm say this every time but it's really i'm i'm having so much fun to 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 understand and to 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 build some stuff and the most difficult part is to not show anybody anything just because as if it's it's nicer to show something if it's finished and that's very difficult uh, uh, to me to 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 keep working on it and then and, and make my my stupid video which i think it's very cool but i always think it's very cool so in the end it's it's okay probably but it's yeah anyway that's about that um i hope you are safe and i i wish you a lot of energy as usually or as usual and we see us next week on on, on tuesday um yeah i have my note here i'm looking forward to to play this part and i i have a good idea now what to do that's very cool and i wish you a good weekend stay safe until the next part bye bye and auf wiedersehen, auf wiedersehen.